championship. For the first time in two decades, college basketball has a repeat champion. And Coach K is the proud father of three in more ways than one. At midcourt, launches the shot. Oh, and almost went in. Almost went in. And Duke is the king of the dance, 2010. The Blue Devils are the national champions of 2015. National Championship number five mm. for Mike Krzyzewski. Just an unbelievable tournament performance by Coach K and his Young Devils. We're live. Hey. Episode nine. I think so. Yes. Every single episode has been in the off season. Mm -hmm. I'm super ready for it to actually be a seasonal episode. However, I'm going to kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No. Oh, sorry. Here we go. So. If everyone could see what we were doing, <laughs> they would understand. You would. Um. So, it's Saturday. I don't even know the date. Um. Mm -hmm. Saturday, September 9th. Mm hmm Pretty cool day today. Yes. It was a Duke football game. There was a charity event held by Justice Winslow and the rest of the Duke basketball team. Knockout Harvey, is that what it is? Yeah. I can't stop with the inside <laughs> jokes. Um, Knockout Harvey. It was, we went. Yes, it was so much fun. I had to get up early. Yeah. It was worth it. I got up at like 6.30, started getting ready. Yeah. So, it was good. It was very fun. Um, we got met. up there. There was a good amount of fans. Yeah. Um, the tailgating and everything was going on for the football game, which was, I like that whole atmosphere. Um, you can't be mad at it ever if you ever go to a football game. Um, so, anyways, wait in line a little bit. Go in there, donate to a good cause, the Houston Hurricane, whatever charity Hurricane um, Justice was representing. Um, then you go in there and you just sit right there where the camera crazy sit, and they call you out to come play knockout. Yes. And you did not even know the rules to knockout. No, I thought it was like horse, but it wasn't. You are super um, experienced. Yeah, I'm, I didn't know, <coughs> but um, luckily I had good old Justin Robinson and Marquise Bolden to help me out. I thought it was super funny that you are sitting there shooting a ball, trying so hard to make it, and I'm sitting back there making fun of you with Marquise Bolden and Justin Robinson. I was like, I don't know what kind of alternate universe this is, but it's kind of fun. It was so much fun. <clears throat> they were all laughing at me. and Yeah. But they were, like, good sports about it. They were cheering me on. Yeah, it was the whole event just – it got a little hectic, but it was just not one bit of anger or hate or any, any bad vibe at all. It was mm -hmm. just pure happiness besides the security guards. Yes. Uh, they have to do their job, you know. People are definitely obsessing over Grayson Allen, and the security guards are there for one thing and one thing only, and that's just to get people the fuck out of the way mm -hmm. <laughs> when it's time to get them out of the way. And it's got to get old for them, old for everybody. But um, the event, we'll, we'll talk more about it in a second, but it went really good. I think you could have almost made it a little more organized to where, you know, it's for a good cause, it's for a charity, and then – a bunch of fans get to come out and donate and do a few cool things and you know i just wanted to say what's up to everyone and get a picture right i didn't need you don't have to sign 50 jerseys you don't have to do you don't have to do all this stuff uh to seem like a a pet at a zoo almost i just thought it was so cool to get the opportunity to go see everyone just see how cool they were and just how they were embracing all the the fan love and um I guess you're going to have to stop. <laughs> I'm not even doing anything. And 
It was really cool. Um, I think you could almost do that every season. I mean, I know they do K Academy, but I think you could do a lesser version of that, kind of like it was today, mm -hmm. whether it be a pass player comeback or multiple or just a team. Um, basically for charity, I thought that was really cool. I don't know if they'll want to do that again. Obviously, this was a random thing for Justice Winslow um, and the hurricane that hit Houston, which is where he's from. But I just thought it was really cool, and I thought, if they did it a couple more times, it would get more organized, and I think it could go a little smoother and people wouldn't have to run around like chickens with their heads cut off trying to grab Grayson Allen's ass. Yeah, everyone. I mean, if I can't compare it. Obviously, you know, Bagley's going to be huge in the league one day, and um, same goes for a lot of them, Trayvon Duvall. And, you know, everyone – but the amount of fame towards Grayson Allen compared to everyone else, even Justice Winslow. Yeah. People were crying their eyes out just to see Grayson Allen. It was wild to look at. I mean, like, every time he popped up, it was a swarm around him. And there, it wasn't like there was 20,000 people there. Everyone wanted a picture with him and a chance to just see him, talk to him. Yeah whether it be like a little kid or a kid's mom or just a some guy like it was a swarm and um your sister had her she's a big Grayson Allen fan aren't we all I guess mm -hmm. she was wearing her little I love Grayson Allen jersey uh shirt and more on that in a second but so we played knockout we met pretty much every person except Grayson yeah and we really wanted to get your sister to meet him for her birthday and um time was up we said what's up to justice for a little bit um Marquise just um Justin Robinson who else Gary Trent Jordan Tucker, yeah, Jordan Tucker Gary Trent they were all Gary Trent's super nice yeah he's cool. he was super cool um um, Wendell, we yeah, him too. Yeah, he was nice too. Um, I don't know if I'd be able to deal with so like, there's like, hey, pitcher, okay, bye. Like, mm -hmm. I was saying like, I hope you have a great season. Um, appreciate the time, and this is really cool. And so we left, and basically the, well, we went outside, and we ran into Trayvon Duvall, mm -hmm. talked to him for a few. I'm not getting into that. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, he was cool, too, wearing a pink Duke shirt, which was pretty fire, actually. Which um, I complimented. Yeah. And he appreciated that very yeah, much. a little too much. <laughs> um, anyways. Oh, yeah, I saw Nolan Smith, Nate James, uh, Jeff Capel, all of them as well. That was cool, too. Yes. It's just like everybody's just walking around chilling with their kids and everything, and I'm just like... This is super cool. We should do this every Saturday. Their kids were super cute, too. <laughs> yeah, it was cool. Um, so then we go out. We're just about to head out. Um, the game's, like, ending first quarter, the football game, starting second quarter, something like that. And we're about to head out and sort of at the side of Cameron. I just basically see – you know, we were kind of, we had a great time and everything was good, but we really just were hoping Elizabeth got to meet Grayson Allen. And, I mean, I'm not <clears throat> I'm not mad at that either. We tried very hard when we were on the court to get get her <laughs> to meet him. I mean, like, we were shoving her to, she's like. She's in the back of the Duke Blue Planet video. Yeah, Like, in the back is. of it waiting. I'm like, yeah. oh, my God, Elizabeth, be assertive. They got her, <laughs> they got her behind him on the Duke Blue Planet planet um video you can see her like waiting to talk to him yes. or whatever and then <clears throat> the security guards and whoever like kept taking him away and he would leave and come back and leave and come back and by the time we were done we just ha we try we had probably four chances to try to get to him and every time it w he would get taken away or he'd leave or it was like such a swarm it was like nauseating people, at a point yeah and like people would literally push you out of the way to get up there so it was just ridiculous and so we ended up leaving. It was just, I was I was very, I thought that was a really cool experience because, I mean, 
how many times is that going to happen? Right. The way that just randomly came about like four days ago and it just happened. And all of a sudden it's like, okay, we can go to this. Mm -hmm. And, you know, they don't, they don't do stuff like that often. Like I said, K Academy and stuff like that, but that's, that's more, that's completely different. That's like older people paying money to go pretend like they're a Duke player. Right. Um, and they do some things for kids too, which is cool. But so we're about to head out, run into Trayvon, talk to him for a few. It was cool. Said, see you later, dude. Um, and I turned my head around and out of the like side of camera and I just We had done we had done decided we we're just about to head out. Yeah, we were leaving. We're walking and back to the car. I see out of the side walking out of Cameron. I just see Vrankovic and Grayson Allen just strolling out by themselves, just chilling, nobody around them. And we're about 25 yards away. Yeah. And we had just came from where they came out at. I mean, we were literally just standing there, and we were like, okay, let's go. We're going to go back to the car and leave. And so... We started walking, and then you turned around. I turned around, I saw him, and I was like, oh, my gosh, this might be... I'm speaking vicariously through your little sister, but however, I was thinking for everyone, like, you know, he's got the senior season, season, he's bigger than ever, and then he's probably most likely going to the NBA. Who knows what city he'll live in forever then. Um, I was like, she wants, she's got a t-shirt on that says, I love Grayson Allen. We obviously have to try to go up there and do this. And as soon as I said, there's Grayson Allen, I said, oh, it's actually Grayson Allen up there. Yeah. All you, I heard was Grace and I turned around. <laughs> you were gone Jetted. like the hurricane wind. I mean, I took off running. I didn't even go up those steps. I literally jumped over the steps and took off running. I was like, and I'm not letting <sighs> him get by. You put them Jordan ones to to work. <laughs> I said, um, my sister. They, is so... He's, like, heading, I guess, through the, like, a trail to get back to wherever he's going, probably towards his apartment or something like that. Um, And you yelled his name, and he's, like, halfway out. He's halfway, like, out of the he way was, in the woods. Yeah, he was already down that trail, like, and, halfway. And you said it again, and, like, I'm trying to catch up. I'm telling your little sister, just just go up there. She's got it. Um. I was right behind him. I screamed and his name. He he comes he comes back like he walks over to you and he's like, "Yeah, um, what's up?" And what'd you say about your little sister? I my sister came up behind me <clears throat> and was like, "She's speechless." And I'm like, "This little girl has been trying to meet you for the past four years, and she like is your biggest fan and." It's her birthday. I, like I was wanting to be like, I wonder how many people told him this. I know, but it was her, it's her birthday and like next week, so this was basically like a birthday surprise. And for she's her. literally wearing an I Love Grace and Allen shirt. Yes. And so they just walk up to each other and just start hugging. Yeah, Elizabeth and, hugged him, and he <laughs> just gave her this big old bear hug, and he said, "I like your shirt." Like he complimented her shirt, and she could not even speak. She was I don't even think she said thank you. She just stared at him. Yeah, like, it was. <laughs> I I kept making fun of her saying she looked like she was about to vomit all and over him. She's only thirteen, so <laughs> Yeah, so it was pretty cool to take her. Yeah. Um and so then you said what's up, took a picture with him and everything, said you appreciate him coming back and I was like, Well shit. Definitely for sure I'm gonna take a picture with yeah, him. Yeah, we all had to. And so I walked up to him and I was just like and we're kinda similar in height a little bit. He's yeah. like he's a little taller than me. And I was just like, dude, I really appreciate that. And I was like, you're probably getting so tired of this. And he he just looked at me. He was like, he was like, nah, it's, I'm not tired of it. It was actually a great turnout, and it was actually a lot of fun. Like the whole thing we did was super fun to me. And I was like, damn. Like he, it looked like he was getting bombarded. The whole like while he's trying to play knockout, and yeah. people were dragging him out of line. Picture, picture. Yeah. And I'm like, he just said how much fun it was and everything, and how it wasn't a problem. I was like, either you're super acting right now or you're just a nice-ass dude. He's very nice. And I was just like, man, but I appreciate that. I hope – I told them all, and even Justice, I was just like, I hope you all have a good season um, and a healthy season. Mm -hmm. Knock on wood. 
cue the knock on wood that I just did. Yeah. Um, because obviously we want a healthy season. Uh, but it was pretty cool. Everybody was super nice, and it was just a good turnout. Obviously, Coach K wasn't there. Um, for sure, don't blame him for that. <clears throat> but Nolan Smith and a lot of those guys were, and that was cool. Shire and everybody. So all I got to say about that is it was super cool, and it worked out. It couldn't have worked out better. Right. Like right at the buzzer, you get your little sister and us. Mm -hmm. I keep talking through her. I'm like, don't want to sound like a fanboy. No, they were just it's all just really cool. They were just all super cool. Uh, mm -hmm. A few backstories that I'm not gonna get into. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say God. I'll save that for another day. We'll let it. We'll see how it plays out. We've already um, exposed one of them, but not yeah. not in a bad way. Yeah, it was. Uh, it's another time for another day. Um, so I hope they can do something like that again sometime. It's uh. It's like a fine line between, you know, it has to be for like a charity because you can't do something like that with players and let the players make money off their likeness or whatever, even though that's what the NCAA is all about Yeah. for them. Um, that's just like these dudes are walking around and they have like this bag of every player's jersey in two different colors. And they're walking around with this huge bag of jerseys, and they're trying to get every player to sign every jersey. Hey, hold on. Can you sign this one and this one and this one and this picture and this? Just to go sell on eBay. And, like, I get that you want to make a living somehow, but and I get you want to – people will buy these. There's a demand for them, but it's just kind of annoying. I would be like, damn, I'm signing all this. So, you, like, my value of me signing this is making you that much more money and like you're waste like you're taking up all my time. Yeah. Like I could be spending on like a kid or something and so I can sign five jerseys and I just want to ask that dude like, damn dude, do you enjoy this? I think it's ridiculous. But I mean at the same time, uh it's just how it goes sometimes, so I mean maybe get one or two things signed, but don't bring a whole bag full I know, of like, jerseys. You can tell that's sometimes where you can tell they're getting annoying. It's like, all right, dude. Yeah. Um like, he just kept pulling out another thing, pulling out another thing. and um, But anyway, it was cool. And then uh, Northwestern and versus Duke, that was supposed to be a close game. Supposed to be really competitive. Uh, Duke thrashed them 41-17. to um, That quarterback's looking really good. Duke's looking really good. Um, Daniel Jones, he is looking – I mean, like – they could be good this year, and they weren't predicting them to be that good. Um, Daniel Jones threw for 305 yards, two touchdowns. He rushed for another 108, rushed for two touchdowns. And they beat Northwestern 41-17. to And then North Carolina got beat by Louisville 47-35. Um, to so now Duke's going to go play Baylor, and North Carolina's 0-2. So you can't be mad at that at all. You don't know that much about football. However, <clears throat> you're in our fantasy league now, so we'll see how that goes. Mm -hmm. Shit, I hit the mic. Sorry. <laughs> and, yeah, we're playing each other week one, so we'll monitor that. Anything else on the trip, though, or the – Saturday. It was really cool. Um, I hope they can do something else like that at the beginning of another season or something. I thought that was really cool, and it went really good. It can get a little more organized. Yeah. They tried to make it organized, but it just wasn't. I know you're supposed to get off after, like, three minutes. We were out there at least 15 well, we sneaking kept, around. We, we snuck around quite a few times because... And then we literally re-ran into everyone outside. Yeah. And, um... So, anyways, we got that, and then, of course, recently we landed Cam Reddish. Uh, I think he's around number three in the 2018 Top 100. He's 6'7". Oh, my throat's dry. He's 6'7", 195 pounds. He has a 7'1 wingspan. Uh, in the Nike EYBL Summer League, he averaged 22-7". and seven. He's got a game kind of like Rudy Gay. He's got a game kind of like Rudy Gay. Um, 
super good get for Duke, especially this early. Pair along with Trey Jones and whoever returns. So that's not for this season, obviously. That's for next season. And also, you know, Duke's still considered to be the favorite for R.J. Barrett. He's the number one overall player in the 2018 class. He's a 6'6", 180. Um, he's planning on committing around November, so another early commit. We could potentially have Trey Jones, Cam Reddish, and R.J. Barrett all on the team committed um, by November, which will be huge. Uh, so we don't know about that date being official, uh, how official his date is. If anything gets confusing or he can't make up his mind fast enough or a visit falls through and he has to reschedule, then that visit, um, that announcement could be pushed back a little bit. But we did land Cam Reddish already, like I said, to go with Trey Jones. And then we might get R.J. Barrett and who knows who else. Um, out of the top, there's a couple. I'm not going to get into it right now, but i just say it's a super good time to be a Duke fan. Yes. Agreed. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> how many days until the season, I guess? 41 days from today. Mm, you keeping it on lock? Oh, yeah, Duke posted something like that. Mm-hmm. It can hurry up, and I keep thinking we're not going to do another episode, and we keep finding these janky episodes to throw in here and there. Because we keep landing top three recruits every week, and then we just get a random go hang out with the players for a day. I know. That was just so much fun. Like, when I saw them tweet that, I was like, I messaged it, DM'd it to you, and was like, we're going, so yeah. <laughs> cancel all your Saturday plans. And you said, if I don't wake up, you're leaving without me. Oh, I was going, I, I was going to go by myself if I had to. I knew that you would, and props to you for putting on your running shoes and finding Grayson. That was clutch of you. I wasn't letting him slip away again. That's so funny, dude. I just wasn't. I just, when I saw, when you said, oh shit, it's Grayson, I turned around and saw him and I <laughs> took off running. I mean, I hunted him down. If I was him, I probably would have <clears throat> just kept going. I mean, he didn't see me running at him because he was walking. Yeah. And I ran up behind him and then right when I got to him, I stopped and yelled his name and he was like, oh, hey. He was just super nice, man. It was crazy. Um, other than that, that's about it. Just the schedule came out. I don't have it in front of me, but we have a good schedule. We have the PK80 tournament. Um, we have a favorable ACC schedule for the first time in forever. You have to be really happy with the ACC schedule. <clears throat> I know... It's an unbalanced schedule, it's, you know, for the conference. Everybody isn't going to play everyone twice. I know all of you know that. Um, so it's usually unbalanced. So some teams get tougher road games than other teams. And usually it feels like – it honestly feels like UNC always gets one of the easiest schedules for road games. And Duke always gets the toughest road games. Always feels like we get Virginia away. Um, Syracuse away, Louisville away. It always feels like that. And, of course, we have to play Carolina twice. They're always in the top. Um, but this year, if you check the schedule out, do you have it in front of you? Yeah. Can, we, can we, I see it real quick? We play Louisville at home this year. Yeah, so that's clutch. I know our away games are, for conference, are Boston College – NC State, Pittsburgh, Miami, Wake Forest, St. John's, UNC Cheat, of course, Georgia Tech, Clemson, and Virginia Tech. So compare that to playing. We don't have to play Virginia away. We don't have to play at Notre Dame. Um, we don't have to play at Louisville. We don't have to play at Syracuse. You can't be mad at that. 
Yeah. That's the toughest road games. We know at UNC isn't tough. <laughs> we do pretty well there. Um, and we can match up with their size this year. And we also have the guard play. So, and that goes for almost anyone. That at Miami game is going to be tough. That's right in the beginning to mid stretch. That could be one that we struggle with at Miami. It seems like we always have a hard time with Miami, no matter who they have. So that seems like one of the toughest. And then I just keep hitting everything like a some kind of like blind man. Mm-hmm. Um, but you can't complain at that at all. And other than that, the schedule looks pretty good. I'm super excited for it. You don't still have it up, do you? No. Yeah, I'm sorry. Um, I'm excited, though, too. Yeah. I can't wait. I was going to see any non-conference. I don't know off the top of my head the games. But anyways, it's good. I appreciate the listens and the support. Appreciate everyone. I saw a few of you. I did see a few of you. I didn't get to talk to you today. A few of you that are listeners or they interact with me on Twitter. You were there and um, saw a few of you. That was pretty cool. And, of course, Justice. He's one of my all-time favorites. Obviously, he was just back in 2015. But he was cool, dude. So it was a good cause and good event. Hopefully, I do something else like that pretty soon. I guess that's about it, right? I think so. Mm, okay, then. <laughs> I was trying to... I was scrolling through my phone to see if there was anything else that I wanted to... And there's a few things, but... <laughs> yeah. We're, we'll bring them up later. Yeah, We'll of save course. them for story of time. Uh, the studio came along good. Um, I posted a photo of it. Not doing video today, but we threw a 60-inch TV in here. Um, some more furniture, and then this. So the plan is to, if we're not at the games, to be just enjoying them here and then just hopping in the chairs and knocking out some recaps or some thoughts or some pre-game podcast, whatever it is, predictions, um, updates, whatever. I'm excited. Yeah, that'll be a lot of fun. It will. Um, So everything's coming along good. I appreciate everyone. If you have anything, just reach out to me or if you want to reach out to Presley. Her information is also in the description. Shout out to you. I'm pretty sure those Duke Duke dudes like you a little too much. (laughs) Uh, But that's all good. Hey, we're not complaining. Um, as for non-conference, <clears throat> the usual Elon game, it'll be at Duke on November 10th. Michigan State, we'll play at Michigan State on November 14th. Um, the Portland tournament will start the Phil Knight Invitational. It'll start November thir- uh, 23rd. And then play Indiana at Indiana on November 29th. And then basically around the beginning of December, we get right into conference play after a couple more tune-up games at home. So super excited for that. As I said before, appreciate everyone. We're about to get out of here. It was super cool. Um, This will probably go up probably on Sunday, probably tomorrow. Are you zoning out right now? No, I'm just... You're about to kill me with that damn water. <laughs> yeah, I know. Anyways, we appreciate everyone. Reach out for anything. Cannot wait for the season. It's just... I've said that too many times, but no, we're it's just so super true. Excited. It's so true. And going to the event today just made me ten times more excited. And just, the way they keep hyping everything up on social media, like mm-hmm. every day there's a new video little unique video coming out or something. I'm just like, okay, only 40,000 more days. No, no, but that's what it I feels mean, like. 40 days, that's only like a month and 10 days. But it, I mean, pretty much 41 days. So, yeah, that's 
That's really good. We're getting and down to like the month mark. Plus, we have. I'm not huge on college football. It's it's fun to have on the TV, and I I love Duke, so I watch them and go to their stuff. We have college football. We have NFL. Mhm. Uh, fantasy w- league. Fantasy's fun. Um, the weather's changing. You know, Thanksgiving's coming. Halloween before that. That's just the best time. I swear to God. If I hit the mic again, I'm never doing this again. Uh, But that's just the best time. I just love that time, you know? Yeah, it's so fun. I put out something about that, and everybody was agreeing. That all changes. The weather cools down and stuff, and then basketball starts. And then it's just prime time when all that's going on at the same time. You never can sit still because you're always doing something Mm -hmm. or watching a game. And that's the way I like it, so... I'm excited to go to the games, too. That is just the most fun you'll ever have. Yeah. Going to some Duke games. Yeah. We went to a crazy one last year. We went to quite a few crazy Yeah, we ones. went to a loss, which was God, not that was fun. Um, we went to the Wake Forest game where we... Uh, just, Came back I just feel won. like the refs were killing us the whole game, and I... That sounds like something somebody would say, but it was crazy. It was like 30 fouls in the first half. It was ridiculous. And then, you know, he played terrible. Tatum fouled out because the refs were crazy. Harry came in, put in some big minutes. That was his hometown. So did um, Vrankovic in that yeah, one. Yeah, he did. Um, And then Luke just went off. Everybody hit a few big shots. Luke carried the team. And then – I think Frank did pretty good too that game. Towards the um, – Towards the end. Yeah, he, I mean, like, it was like when we needed to make a shot. Like, it didn't matter if it was – Everybody wasn't having that great of a game, but when it came down to needing to make a shot, Frank hit a shot, Matt hit a big three, Grayson, Grayson hit a big three, and and Luke at the very end and shut everyone up in there, it and was, it was the best thing oh ever. Gosh. It was, um, and then we went out to a bar afterwards. Like, <laughs> oh my god! Those are we go. We just try to go to a restaurant. Yeah. After well, it was like a cool little bar restaurant, whatever. And there were some really salty Wake Forest fans. No, he wasn't. He wasn't only salty. He was drunk off he, his ass, yeah. puking everywhere. He literally, we walked up and he was throwing up. And <laughs> he saw us decked out in Duke gear, and he goes, "Fuck Duke." No, he didn't say. He was like, "Fuck Duke." And he's so fucked up. We said, "Uh, fuck you," and kept walking. <laughs> he did. He didn't. Say, I mean, don't, don't be a piece of shit, especially when we have a little kid. I mean, walking right. Around with I us. know. Like, I mean, you're literally worry about <laughs> worry about throwing up in the grass for a little bit and just. But anyways, you know how people are, you know how fan bases are. Um, it is what it is. That's and, what makes it fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. And on Twitter, after a big win, like oh it's so god. funny. I don't tweet much. I just scroll through the timeline. I'm like, oh my god, this is. If if you win, somebody says something terrible. If you lose, people are gonna hound you. So. Just like I said when the podcast was doing pretty well and somebody says, fuck, dude, go Kentucky. Leaves me one star. I'm like, appreciate that, man. He DM'd me and was like, yeah, how you like that review? Yeah, real real classy of you. Like, yeah, Shows a lot. <laughs> really appreciate it, man. Thank you for the feedback. <laughs> um. So anyways, as I said before, we're excited. Glad you're excited. Ready for the season to start. It's going to be a good year. For sure. Troy, Presley, Blue Devil Dive. Appreciate everyone. Happy Saturday. Have a good Sunday. It's football, football, football. Mm -hmm. I'm not leaving the couch unless it's to get more food. (laughs) Right. Hope everyone has a great rest of the weekend, great Sunday, um, and a great upcoming week. Talk to you soon. You got anything? I think that's it. We're out.